Ladies and gentlemen, this government shutdown conversation, which is not truly in the media yet, should be getting into the media right after the debate. I don't think they're going to roll it into the media before the debate. It would be wise if they rolled it full out into the media before the debate, um, because it will make for great debate topics of discussion. But we are coming up on what they want to call a government shutdown. And I'm going to say this to you. I think that if we can't protect our voting, if we can't protect our borders, if we can't protect our citizens, that bad boy need to be shut out. I'm talking about closed for business. No funding, no nothing. I don't care. We'll get turned. I don't care. Shut her down. Shut her down. Shut her down. Now. As we get closer and closer to this And I want you to remember When this comes out in the news I hate going this far out in the future And talking about something Because then I got to remind you To come back to this moment right now And think about what I said But when we get to the moment When we start having this conversation About the government shutdown Government shutdown We're going to be going into the October surprise season We just got to make it through the surprise and I think the shutdown is the perfect thing to really damage whatever the surprise is. But nonetheless, when we get to that moment in time in the near future, you are going to hear all of this fear mongering about fear mongering about what it means when the government shuts down, how it's going to be so bad for you and the country, and this and this, and how it's racist and how it's you're going to hear these people say all kinds of things. But I just want you to remember what it's really about. It's really about making sure that the 100 million illegal people that done came in this country cannot choose your president. They're already choosing to steal your housing. They're already choosing to be given $15,000 a month food stamps and $5,000 a month in cash. And then they can use them EBT cards on Amazon. Y'all didn't notice how Amazon started taking EBT over the past two years, right? Yeah, go look on your Amazon. It'll say EBT. Because they just funnel that money in through Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to understand, you got illegals. who got housing. who got IDs. And they sitting there ordering stuff on Amazon. You got Venezuelan gangs taking over towns. Taking over apartment complexes to be more accurate. Then you got people saying, that's a lie. That's not true. I called somebody in the area and they said it wasn't true. This has been debunked. Get off your ass and go there. You send me some damn pictures. If you say it's not true, get off your ass and go. Or shut the hell up. Because the way I see it, whether it's true or it's not true, it all works in the favor for us. So people can be aware of that threat so I don't care if it ain't true it's true somewhere if it ain't true in Chicago it's damn sure true in Colorado and everybody need to be aware of it the hood need to know what you're trying to tell me is you don't give a damn about the hood you want them to roll through the hood with AKs running up on little children da, 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 pa, 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 pa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's what you want see y'all don't be thinking anyway let me get back to what I'm saying this is all I'm trying to tell you. When it's time for this government shutdown, don't be all up in arms. Don't be worried about nothing. Don't you worry about a thing. Let us shut down. It's about time we shut it down. Let us shut down. But let's see what it's really about. Senator, I want to get your take on the SAVE Act, which you've spoken about so much. And I know that the Republicans uh, are pushing the act uh, pretty aggressively in terms of ensuring that anybody who votes in this upcoming presidential election has proof of citizenship. Uh, do you have any expectation that it's going to come to the floor in the Senate for debate? Look, it must come up for a vote in the House and in the Senate. And the way to do that is for us to attach it to the next spending bill, likely a continuing resolution. It'll come up in September. Uh, look, the, the American people agree overwhelmingly, yes, Maria, uh, like by a margin of uh, uh, three out of four, 
uh, that, uh, first of all, only U.S. citizens ought to vote in federal elections. And secondly, yes, when you register to vote in a federal election, you ought to have to be able to prove who you are, that you are a U.S. citizen. Absolutely. Just as you have to do whenever you start a new job in America, when you fill out an I-9, you've got to provide proof of citizenship. Absolutely. Right. So with the SAVE Act, what we're saying is uh, we should require nothing less uh, to vote in federal elections uh, than you have to establish when you start a new job. We yeah. attach that to a spending bill, and that's the best way to move that through, to make sure that the 10 million plus illegal immigrants who have come in in the last three and a half years, and the estimated roughly 30 million non-citizens total in the United States aren't voting in this November's election. Nah, it's a little bit more than that, but it's okay. Because there was a whole lot that came in under Obama. He just talking about the Biden administration and the ones that was here. It's estimated that it may be like 150 illegals in America. But nonetheless, this is the opening salvo, ladies and gentlemen, of the battle that's to come. This is the shot heard around the world. And see, when we get to that point, it's going to be a pivotal point. You going to see people going crazy on the media. How can they shut the government down? And then they're going to be trying to make the immigrants seem like the aliens seem like they are all friendly and nice and when you really look at it from a hundred thousand foot view it's absolutely perfect it's unfortunate be clear it's unfortunate that people are getting hurt by these illegals but it's absolutely perfect that how it's occupying the news cycle leading up for this to this uh to this government shutdown it needs to continue to occupy the news cycle leading up to this. I mean, every time one of them steal something, shoot something, stab something, rape something, blow up something, it needs to be on the news. Because, see, the American people, when you start talking about voting and all the rest of that, yeah, they can understand it. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, boy, what we understand is, man, Miss 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 Johnson around the corner, they stole her car. Man, you remember Betty? Yeah, who are you talking about? Betty Tarigno over there. Old Betty. Italian Betty. Yeah, I know Betty. Man, you know they broke in Betty house and beat her up? See, we understand that. And see, that goes all, it sinks all the way down to the lowest level of understanding. Big words. You know, spending bill, save act, you know, attaching it to the federal spending bill. Nobody give a damn about that. I understand what you're saying. Y'all understand, but nobody give a damn about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it personal. Show them how it's personal. That's how you get people to pay attention. Make it personal. Yeah, I mean, I know that Mike Johnson has talked about this. Do you think that he is going to be able to attach that? Will he dig in this time and attach it and say we're not going to do a continuing resolution? I don't know about Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson back like a little broad. Unless this is attached. And what about the Senate? Who's going to be aggressively ensuring that it's attached in the Senate? Okay, so first of all, if Mike Johnson does that, and I hope he does, because this would be a great opportunity to show contrast between the two parties. It would be a great opportunity to give Americans relief that most Americans believe we need and we yeah. want. If he were to do that and then say, okay, the House of Representatives has done its work, uh, uh, good luck, Senate, and then they go, then well, what's Chuck Schumer going to do? Is Chuck Schumer really going to pick a fight over this? Is Chuck Schumer really going to put us... They're right, Chuck Schumer gonna pick a fight over. That's Chuck Schumer. Into a shutdown? Does he so badly want non-citizens, including the 10 million illegal immigrants they just left in? Does he really so badly want them to decide the outcome of this election that he's willing to shut down the government over it? I hope not. Translation. If Mike Johnson does his job and it goes over to Chucky Schumer, and Chucky Schumer says, well, we're not going to vote on it. We're not going to do this. He's talking about putting them in a bit of a trap. And so it's a win-win scenario. If it pushes all the way through, you get to say back. If you don't, the Democrats look extremely bad 30 days from now, 27 days from now, which brings us right into the beginning of October with less than 30 days to go before the election. They are fighting this narrative that they want illegals to vote and they're defending illegals' rights to vote. It's a genius plan, a genius idea, and I like it, and I endorse it as a Stankonian ambassador, and I stamp it with my finger stamp of approval. Do it, sir. You guys should do it 100%.